So this is Vinny Part 2. I um, hope you've had a chance to see Vinny Part 1 to understand uh, how this discussion began. It's an email discussion and uh, I replied to Vinny's original email and pictures with this message and I said I can't say with certainty what was causing the problem initially. Most likely now your artificial valves are causing a form of hemolytic anemia although anemia isn't necessary it may just be hemolysis meaning the breaking down of red blood cells as the red cells pass by the valves, meaning the artificial valves in the heart, they are broken apart. If I'm correct, a peripheral blood smear would show schistocytes, and schistocytes are also known as helmet cells, and basically what that means is a red blood cell is in general a spherical cell, but if it passes by a steel or metallic mechanical uh, valve it can be sheared and broken in half spilling its contents and it would uh, assume a spherical shape before breaking open and uh, then leave half of a sphere which would if you imagine might look something like uh, an old helmet uh, and we call those schistocytes or helmet cells the waxing and waning of this process can cause the purpura you're seeing on the skin and then I finished that with best to you and Merry Christmas, hoping that that had answered his question. Well, that doesn't always work when I give somebody a, uh, an answer. Uh, and Vinny replied, he says, is there anything that you can help me with uh, this or is there a cure for this? And to that I replied, I said uh, uh, to Vinny, the reason they're telling you there's nothing wrong is that there isn't. This is a side effect of the blood thinners and the mechanical valves going to continue occurring for the rest of your life. Stop worrying about this and stay on your medications. Um, and I'd hoped at that point that uh, that would answer his question. He would understand that what he was looking at was uh, indeed a side effect uh, to the fact that he had two mechanical heart valves and was on warfarin, also known as Coumbin. And he replied to me, thank you for that, I really appreciate your help, and that's the last chance, or this, that was the last chance for me. Uh, so I know I'll stay on my medicine and stop wasting money for something that cannot be cured. By the way, thank you for suggestions. And so I hoped uh, that that meant he had gotten the uh, idea that this was not something he needed to continue pursuing and seeing more physicians uh, regarding because this is uh, very simply uh, a side effect of the fact that he's got mechanical heart valves and is on uh, a uh, very potent blood thinner. And then I received this. One more question I think I should ask you as a doctor. Do you think that any particular time in my life, maybe after two to three years later, these valves would adapt uh, to my body conditions and the way that natural valves work, do you think that time this disease would go away? Telling me once again he still doesn't quite... Not, Vinny's not quite getting the idea as to what's going on here. Uh, so I replied, I honestly do not think this will stop. You should expect to get these red spots continuously going forward, but they're not a problem. Just wear long sleeves. Obviously the red spots are bothering him, so I'm giving him a solution. And then, I didn't hear from him for a day or so, and I replied to him as I began to think about his story and how interesting it was, and I sent Vinny this message. I said, your story is really interesting. I think others would enjoy hearing it. Would you mind if I share your story online with your identity protected? Of course. I would really appreciate it. Thanks, JG. And I did hear from Vinny again obviously, or we wouldn't be talking about it, but he said, yeah, sure, don't need to worry about my identity, it doesn't matter to me, if you like, you can tell my name to the world, you have my permission, you do not need to hide my identity, if you need anything else that might help you, please do tell me, I'm always ready to help to anybody, who knows, in doing so, we can get something that might help me with my disease, the red spots, and so, once again, more evidence that Vinny's not convinced uh, that um, I've given him a, an answer that he can accept regarding the rash or the uh, intermittent uh, purpura at the extremities. 
Then he further up, uh, then he further follows up with this. He says, if possible, can you discuss this case with someone else like a dermatologist department? I think there should be some cure for it. As I, na as I know or read from the internet, I came to know that my blood thinner is so, uh, is, my blood is thinner, so due to that, it starts coming out of my veins and makes smear red on skin. So what we can do is I can take medicine that can make my veins strong. One more thing, I also noticed that my body tries to heal these stops. Some get healed, but others just start coming again. Do you think it's possible way to take medicine and make veins strong? Please, if you have any friends or colleagues who know something about it, as we are told in life that if something happens in life, then there's a way to make it right. Please don't get me wrong. I'm just keen on getting rid of this disease. Um, he's, I think he, he begins, he's begun to understand now that the problem is, is he is on an anticoagulant uh, due to having artificial heart valves. It's much more likely that he'll develop a clot that could go to the brain and cause a stroke. And so to help prevent that from happening, we use an anticoagulation um, pattern or program similar to uh, treating someone with a Coumadin. We have uh, different anticoagulants now that are less likely to cause the kind of red spots that uh, Coumadin causes or Warfarin causes, although they're much, much more expensive. Um, but at least this shows that, that he does have a bit more of an understanding and he did send me some uh, further photographs and uh, this would be one of the upper extremities here and you can see uh, some of these healing uh, purpura or red spots. Here would be another one, larger one there and several smaller ones at the left arm. I presume that was the left arm. Same situation here near the antecubital fossa. Not too bad, though, if you ask me. I've seen a lot worse on patients taking Coumadin. Vinny's really upset about this. And then a healed one. So that's going to be the end of part two, and I'm going to talk about what's really gone on or what's happened with Vinny, or at least uh, to the best of my knowledge, just by having uh, exchanged a few emails and looked at a few pictures with him. And that'll be part three coming up. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin, extra virgin coconut oil, and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chap lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice. We'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90-day supply today.